everybody. It's Ron Howard on a Wednesday afternoon in October. And I'm bringing you a tutorial because I just hate misinformation. Oh, I despise it. In this hobby, everybody should just know what they're doing. You don't need a book. You don't even need experience. You should just know it. it should just be innate, natural, like you were born to it. But no, 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 no. That doesn't exist, does it? No. No, this hobby requires a lot of attention. And so I'm gonna bring a little focus on something we haven't talked about in a while. And earlier today, I saw in a Facebook group, somebody made a comment saying, I don't bother with sub models for my 24 inch Boscoyo flakes. There's no need for it. Why the hell would you say that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on now. Now the guy's a really sweet dude. I'm sure he just didn't know what he was saying because clearly I don't think he did because I am about to prove to you why it is imperative to have sub models with anything. Man, if you've got three pixels on your house, I say you need three sub models. Okay, that's a little extreme, but that's the name of the company. So that, that's just the way I roll. But as you know, the Gilbert Engineering uh, Company has been rocking these uh, high density flakes for quite a while now, and people love them. And it's cool because there's a lot of neat things you can do with all these sub models. But that doesn't mean you ignore these low density props. I'd say there's some low hanging fruit with the low density props you might not know about. And, 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 and why this isn't talked about more, I don't know. Maybe people are just complacent and happy enough that it, you can get a doggone shockwave to burst. And you're like, woo, oh, wait a minute. Let's put a pinwheel on it. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a beautiful whole model effect. But why can't you take advantage of some of the cool things you can do with the sub models on these Gilbert Engineering? Then you can, and I'm going to show you how. And if you don't already have this done, you better get it done because you are wasting resource. It's already built into the prop. Now, is it really built in the prop? I don't know, because if you download it, it's not. Look what happens when I bring in a 24 inch flake. Let's go with the hexagon. Uh, you insert this. It's like, oh, there it is. Well, what's in the sub models? What's in the sub models? I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. Not Jack Doodle. Well, that's just sad. What the hell are you supposed to do with that? Oh, that's right. Put a shockwave on there or a color wash. Yeah. Great prop if you're going to be testing your house. Come on. You can do better than that. Come on. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. No, no, no. I already have that over here, by the way. So it's there. What you need to have with these is something that looks like this. Oh. Oh, what's this you say, Ron? What's this you say? You got to have balls on these props. Okay. In Europe, they're laughing their butts off right now in America. Oh, oh, did, oh my God. Did you hear that? He said balls. Oh, anyway, uh, <laughs> that's what they're called, man. I'll tell you, here's some arms. No one gets upset when you say arms. Well, unless you're in parts of a uh, uh, Northern Western state and then there's way too much hair in some of the arms. Uh, I digress. Anyway, spoke, look at that, spokes. <laughs> yeah, these are important to have. Let's see what they can do. Let's see what they can do. Let's go over to the sequencer. Let's click on flakes all group. Well, lo and behold, there we go. That's probably some of the best you're gonna get from a whole flakes group with the uh, Boscoyo 24 inch flakes. But I'm not satisfied with that. And you know why? Because I used these flakes for years before Boscoyo uh, got into bigger flakes and got more expansive. And I, I, well, I mean, they've got, I think, maybe four high density uh, models at this point. But before Gilbert Engineering came along, there was, there was, that was it. There was nothing else. I, I had to make it work the best I could. So I would create sub models. So let's look at this uh, Boscoyo 24 inch. I'm going to show you like the very best effect you can get on this with a single strand tool at the entire model. See, there's nothing, well, there is in this one, isn't there? Uh, let's see, no submodels. Yeah, this has no submodels. It's not supposed to have submodels, but this is what it looks like. Yeah, that's about the best you can get from the model a group. Let's go take a look at uh, this. 
Oh, look at that. Hot mess. Hot mess from the spirals. Well, let's do this. Let's be fair. Maybe if we just make an adjustment over here, maybe we change that to per preview. A per preview of a hot mess. How about single line? Mm, that's better. That's something. But I'm still not super happy with it. So let's take a look what we can do with some of these Gilbert engineering flakes with the submodels. Here's an all arms group. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty cool. And not only that, we have these three Gilbert engineering high density flakes going. And look at this guy here. Look at him run for the money. That's a 24 inch, 48 node Boscoyo flake getting it done with 48 nodes. It's all like, look, man, I ain't as fast as you guys. I ain't got as much oomph as you guys. But you know what? I'm here to play. And, and there you go. You're getting some movement that's very similar to these models. And that's pretty cool. You can't do that if you don't have submodels. Let's look at the next one. Let's go to the spokes all group. And again, these are the spokes groups. We're getting cool movement here, cool movement here. And then let's go to another one. This is the outline group. And so again, you get some different interesting effects here. And then this one, you've got bountings to some really cool symmetrical shapes. I like that. I can work with that. Okay. Let's get over here to this effect. This is a spiral. Why do you keep bouncing down? On the spiral, I love working with spirals and submodel groups because you get this. This is just gorgeous. How cool does that look? And look at here. Look at this 24 inch, 48 node flake saying, hey, I'm here. I've got some game. It's not always about the number of holes in a prop. Sometimes it's about the creativity of giving it room to have a voice. This is true in all the models in X lights, regardless of size. And it just kind of, it's, it's sort of just a kick in the groin when you hear people going, well, I wouldn't do that with that. It's a waste of time. No, it's not. It's not a waste of time. You just have to get creative. It's not like I've, this, this is not new. This has been out for a long time. So if you're getting these models and look at this, how cool is this at the spokes level? What we define for spokes, that's cool. Every one of these has a unique character with its version of spokes for submodel groups. And even the 24 inch 48 no by Scoil Flake is saying, yep, let's party. So be conscientious of your models and what you may be missing out on. Are these a far superior model? In my world, yeah, because of what they can do. They're more dense, they look more exciting, and I have a lot more agility from them. But there are a lot of people out there that are still rocking these smaller flakes and there's nothing wrong with that because a 24 inch footprint looks great. You've had them running in your show three or four years you may not be untapping their potential. And if you have any of my sequences and you're not mapping submodel groups to submodel groups with the 24 inch flakes, you are totally missing out. And even if they're older sequences, take the house outlines, leave all the flakes that you mapped over the flake groups, take a house outline, map that to the arms flakes group and watch what happens. All right. That's it. That's all I got for you. I hope that helped. Got any questions? You know where to find me. Talk to you later.